should be thanking ye for that cargo, old Jolly Rover. That rum is for Governor De Silva, you scoundrel. Oi, so it be, pup. That's James Rover to you, you filthy pirate. Yeah, Jolly James Rover. No, just Ga uh, James. Suit yourself, you lily livered landlubber. I be Captain Howell. Now, my rule be. Any we be taken alive be getting the chance to join our merry crew. But ye clearly be lacking any of the skills we be looking for in a pirate. I can sing a good shanty. Pirating ain't all singing and dancing. What else can you do? I'm a snappy dresser. You be looking like you be dressed by a drunk octopus <laughs> with two eye patches. This belt and pants are custom made, I'll have you know. You can't buy clothes of this cut off the rack. Besides fancy pants, you be lacking a hat. Pirates got to be having a hat, good and fancy like. I can walk with a swagger. You be walking like a fairy in tight trousers. I can cook. We gotta cook. He ain't the best cook, but he ain't making us too ill. I'll never join your crew. Good. We be reaching an agreeable arrangement. Now I can't have ye stumbling about getting in the way of the crew. So ye just have to sit tight till we be making port. When will that be? While the winds be fair, and the loot be good, a month, maybe two. Wait! I can't be in here a month. All right, guys. It's up to you. You've got to escape this brig, commandeer the ship, and finish that delivery. Those pirates will rue the day they tangled with Gaius James Rover. Now, how to get out of here? We've been through this. There's no way out. A more creative way? You must be mad. You're right. I'm being dramatic. Yes, of course. I'll take another look around. I could drink to escape, but that never solves anything. Besides, I prefer tea. What's this under the cannon? It looks like there's a worn label. Cape? Kit? This is no time for dress up. Skeleton keys? They'd break as soon as you put them in the lock. Wow, a real pirate treasure chest. Oh, ho, what's this? A piece of eight. I'd best put this somewhere safe. It would be nice if there was something useful in those crates, but I can't get them open. Pity I don't have anything to pry open that crate with. It looks interesting. I'll have trouble keeping it together if this is lit while I'm in here. Ah, my sweet Beatrice, my silent companion, how I love thee. Behind your kind eyes, I can see dreams of our escape from this blasted cell. Three weeks, and I didn't think of trying the door. Oh, heavy, solid, and locked. That's probably why. That's a fine whale oil lamp, but it's my only source of light in this dingy room, so I don't want to disturb it. Well, B, it looks like we're stuck here forever. Come, my darling. Let us be alone no more. Pardon me, are you all right? What be going on down there? Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh. Davy, what be all the noise? 
Ah. Ah, it be nothing. Ah, me hearty. Hey, you ain't sounding much like Davy. Twerp for that silly hat, or not be knowing you. You don't sound much like yourself either. That be true. But this new tobacco ain't as fine as it used to be. <laughs> Your Davy. This be reminding me of the time we be getting through that keg of rum and thinking we were a pair of young princes. Where be that again? I have no idea. Uh, go on, Davy. You be telling the story better than I, if you are, Davy. Yar, just give me a moment to jog me memory. Davy, me tail. Pardon? What are you on about, Davy? Over here, you bilge rat. You never be getting past Melvin like that. Melvin? Ye be listening here. We be busting out of this ship. And why do you think I want to carry you around with me? Stow away. Fire in the hole. I'm melting. Shh, shh. All right. What do I have to do? Start by get me out of this cage, chum bucket. Ah, it's just a scarf. I'd better take this in case there's any misunderstandings. Here are some crackers the weevils haven't gotten into. There are two keys on this ring. A large heavy one and a smaller rusty one. I can't open the rusty lock. The key won't turn. You'll have to oil the lock. On the double. The walls are closing in. It's getting dark. There's nothing to unlock there. There's nothing to use the scarf with there. It's locked. Hot. There, the scarf is covered in hot. The keys don't need oiling. Jolly good. I've oiled the lock. There are two keys on this ring. A large heavy... There we are. Much obliged, Squire. Tally-ho! <laughs> hey, that tickles. Hello, uh, Mr. Parrot? Juan. Pardon? Juan Leon. Okay, Juan. Juan Leon! So, about Melvin. In sunny Port Sickle, young princes get pickled. Ten days in their messes, then they're swabbing decks in silk dresses. What's that supposed to mean? Go figure. Funny, you made more sense when you wanted something from me. Crackers be me, and crackers be key. He's a pretty Polly. Scupper the fancy pants feather wearer. Was that an insult? Pieces of eight! Pieces of eight! 
That's all for now. Better the hatchlings. Ahoy there, Melvin. Hi there, Davy. Can you remember where it be when we be getting through that keg of rum? I have no idea. Uh, go on, Davy. You be telling the story better than I. If you are, Davy. Yar, just give me a moment to jog me memory. Ahoy there, Melvin. Hi there, Davy. Can you remember where it be when we be getting through that keg of rum? Port Sickle. Oh, that be the place. Hell be threatening to kill all the both of us. But instead, he be throwing us in the brig for... Um, how long was it? Ten... Days. Yeah, and when he be letting us out, remember what he be having us do. Swabbing the decks in silk dresses. <laughs> they be good times. Well, I best be leaving you to your duties. Yahar. Don't be a stranger, matey. There are no handles. It appears to be locked from the outside. Ahoy there, Melvin. Ahoy there, Davy. What are you doing above decks? Arr. You're lost. Just stretching me legs. Can you, uh... Open the hatch for me. To be forgetting the knock again, Davy. Oh, you can't be going on deck anyway. You're supposed to be guarding the pub. But I need my vitamin D. Hey, no bother. I'll be getting that for you. Bobby. Melvin, what you be wanting, your hairy palm tree? I'll be just wondering if you could get... Stop wasting me time or I'll be using your mop of a head to swab the decks. Aye, right you are, Bobby. Uh, sorry, Davy. Have to be going without for now. Ahoy there, matey. What? Need any hints? I don't need any hints. Ah, we anchor and fill the sails. All right, what was it Melvin did? What now, Melv? Oh, Davy, you silly scallywag. I be knowing that Ponzi hat anywhere. What you be bothering me for? Mind if I come up and stretch me legs? The last, you scurvy dog. Your job be guarding the rover, pup. How about we switch places? I be done with me shift, and ye be wanting me doing yours too. Ye be telling that good-for-nothing Pete to be getting his sorry tail up here and relieving me. Cheerio, Bobby. If ye be seeing that worthless Pete, ye be telling him to quit his lollygagging and get his tail on deck to be relieving me. Oh, what?
lot died in here. I've got to get a window open. but air. They're huge! Oh, wait. No, they're not. They're huge! Oh, wait. No, they're not. Empty. It's just an empty rum bottle. Nothing in there but air. It's just an empty rum bottle. It's just an empty rum bottle. It's a big fat drunk pirate holding a bottle of rum. Oh! This must be the only bottle in the whole ship that hasn't been drunk dry by drunk dogs. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Hey, peppercorns. Now I can make my famous Jamaican jerk chicken. I'd have to find a way to grind them up first, though. Hey, there are crackers in here. It's stuck. The hinges look a little rusty. There's a better view from here, Fishy. There we go. A little oil on the hinges will help these windows open. Ah, I can breathe again. He gives new meaning to being legless. Let's spice up this rum. Sometimes I have no idea why I do the things I do. That's better. Bon voyage! Ah, rum. The all-purpose pirate accessory. <laughs>